Over the last few weeks, our women and men in uniform have been working to help the most vulnerable Canadians as we deal with this pandemic. And as the need for their help continues, we've received new requests to extend this period of deployment in both Ontario and Quebec, and we will be following up. Members of the Canadian Armed Forces are doing an incredible job, just like always. They are serving with distinction for our grandparents, our parents, our elders. In Ontario, they've made some extremely troubling observations about several long-term care facilities in which they've been serving, and we have shared this information with the provincial government. As I've said many times, we need to do a better job of caring for the people who built this country. The greatest generation saw us through World War II, and we need to be there to support them properly through this global crisis. Okay. Um, I, uh, I read the report uh, in full yesterday. We uh, shared it with the provincial government of Ontario over the weekend. Um, it is deeply disturbing. Um, there are uh, things in there that are extremely troubling and uh, we need to take action and I spoke with the Premier this morning to assure him that of course uh, the federal government would be there uh, to support them as they deal uh, with this situation. We need to do a better job of taking care of our elders in long-term care facilities in Ontario and indeed right across the country. Uh, the Premier will be sharing this report with Canadians in the coming hours and will be speaking at more length uh, on it, uh, and I will leave, uh, leave that for him. Um, on reading the deeply disturbing report, I had obviously a range of emotions of uh, anger, of sadness, of, of frustration, um, of grief. Um, it is extremely troubling. Uh, and. Uh, as I've said from the very beginning of this, uh, we need to do a better job of supporting our seniors in long-term care uh, right across the country through this pandemic and beyond. Um, this is a situation that has uh, gone on for a long time. Uh, we need to take action as a country. Um, the federal government will be there to support provinces uh, in their jurisdictions on dealing with uh, this as we move forward. Tom Perry with CBC. Um, you've read this report. Are you concerned that the problems that it reveals are not limited only to Ontario? And what specifically can the federal government do right now to, to deal with these issues? Well, the, the federal government uh, is there uh, to help. We have stepped up with members of the Canadian Armed Forces in a number of long-term care facilities uh, across the province and indeed uh, across Ontario and Quebec. Uh, but the challenges faced uh, by this system of long-term cares um, is larger than just the places that uh, the Canadian Armed Forces are showing up in. So we need to have a conversation and we need to take action as a country on improving care. There are many extraordinary, uh, excellent long-term care facilities across this country. Uh, there are some uh, that obviously uh, are, are uh, not doing as well uh, that uh, we need to make sure we are improving the standards of care uh, and the support for Canadians uh, as, they, uh, as they retire, as they, uh, as they reach that phase of their lives. Um, the federal government, as I said from the beginning, will be part of the conversations with the provinces on how we move forward, how we learn from uh, this crisis and what we've learned through this crisis uh, and move forward. Uh, as I said, the uh, report that uh, we received, uh, we passed along immediately to Ontario. Um, we are uh, working with them uh, on the next steps, but I will leave it to Premier Ford to uh, share that, uh, that report and uh, discuss uh, the next steps in, uh, in a couple of hours when he moves forward for his uh, press conference. Uh, as you know, tomorrow we're expecting a decision on Meng Wanzhou's extradition, and this is going to uh, upset people on one side or the other, either the Chinese or the Americans. I'm wondering what level of interaction there's been between your government and your counterparts on the Chinese side and the American side preparing 
for uh, one of those two possible outcomes. Are you concerned, and you've spoken to them, about the possibility of retaliation if it doesn't go their way? We have continued to engage diplomatically with our partners, both with the Americans and uh, the Chinese, on the issue of, uh, of uh, Meng Wanzhou and, uh, and, indeed, of the two Michaels who have been arbitrarily detained in China. Um, but one of the good things about having a truly independent justice system is uh, that uh, we don't uh, need to apologize or explain for the decisions taken. Uh, by uh, our independent justice system. We have confidence uh, in that system, in its independence, uh, and we, of course, uh, will continue to abide and defend uh, our system.